Welcome to this video showing you how to design and create an application. A case application represents the subject of interest to your organisation. For example, candidate management. It describes the data, states, process and actions needed to represent all the things that can happen to the subject as it moves through its life cycle. A case application forms the basis of what end users work with, a case. Before you start, you'll need to have an idea of the problem you're trying to solve and the case application that needs to be created to solve it. In this video, we'll use the example of a candidate management case. When planning your case application, try to get an idea of the initial mandatory tasks and their sequence. These mandatory tasks form part of your creator process. Let's have a look at how you do this in Tibco Cloud Live Apps. First, create your new application. Name your application after the subject of your case. So, for a candidate management case, call it Candidate. Consider the data that forms part of the case. To help you do this, Picture how you might normally collect your data. For a job application, it might be using a paper job application form, for example. You add case data to the case application's data. By adding it here, it will be available to your end users to input and view. For each piece of information that end users work with, you need to create a data field. You can use the case identifier type to define the one field that can identify a case to end users. It is not mandatory to have a case identifier field, but you may find it useful. Now let's look at some other data fields. You can use the definition tab to define basic information for your field. You can use the restrictions tab to define any restrictions to what the end user can do. Next, consider what states your case application will have during its life cycle. You can think of states as the logical stages the case moves through as it progresses. The case creator and case action processes are responsible for progressing the case through these states. You can use the state editor to add and manage the case states that are applicable to your type of case. For example, a candidate can be invited, interviewed or offered job. If there is a fixed sequence of tasks to perform when a case is created by an end user, you define this in the creator process. You use boxes and flows on the design canvas to build your task sequence. Use the properties panel to configure your creator tasks. For example, to set the state of the case when a task is complete. Now, think about the actions that can be applied to the case. Actions are things that can happen to the case at any time. While not necessarily required to complete a case, they are needed to cover things that might happen while it's in progress. For a candidate application, interview and reject candidate are likely case action candidates. Together, Actions and states provide flexibility in case management. Some actions should only be available during certain states. For example, an interview action might be applicable during the invited state, but might not be applicable if the case is in an offered job state. You can create additional actions here. Each action is a process like the case creator process. Once you have defined your case states, you can set what state a case should be in after the completion of a task. Use boxes and flows to create a sequence of tasks for the case action. You can collaborate with other application designers by adding comments about an application and the data, states and processes in it. You can view, add and reply to comments using the comments button on each screen. 
you can now validate and test your application. This will launch the application in test mode and you can try out your application as an end user. Thank you for watching this video.